Yes, I am single and I'm looking somebody that who wants to take advantage of me because I'm used to it, people taking advantage of me. So if you're the one, please, uh, I'm here. So, you know, just take advantage of me, you know. Uh, you can come in, move in and live in with me. Don't pay any rent. Everybody knows these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> oh, my boyfriend finally let me stay at his place alone. I wonder what's in here. He never lets me inside his closet. Is that a body? Closet hussy activated. Daddy! What the Daddy. fuck? You're like beautiful. I was wondering if like I could get your number real quick. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, Psych, you thought I was feeling you? Hey, you a month. Hey, hey. Um, it definitely is still relevant because I'm gonna keep being a slut. I have no intentions of stopping, no desire to stop. I'm gonna keep hoeing it out on the internet for likes. At oh, no. peak hoe phase, I had uh -oh. sex with like 12 dudes in one week. I what? lost like four pounds. Whoa, how did yeah. that happen? <laughs> how did that <laughs> you lose four pounds? And how did you, come inside yeah, how did you f 12 guys in one week? Exactly. There's, there's the most I did was eight, so that's, that's pretty good. 12, like... Yeah. Where did you meet them? It was, <laughs> you know, it was so funny. When a girl breaks up with you to be with another man, don't ever try to compete with him. You're in a losing situation. He's new, he's exciting, he's the winner, he's forbidden, and he's easier to idealize because she doesn't know all of his flaws. When you try to compete with him, now she has two guys flooding her ego. It's much more attractive to be strong enough to be willing to walk away. Over the summer, I met up with like a sugar daddy. So his plan was to pay me 10K for peeing on his face. And I peed on his face, I got the 10K, and then I came home and I like blocked him, haven't talked to him since. Two months later, I walk into class, first day of school, first class, he's my professor. Wait, <laughs> wait. Five lies that all women tell, and I'm gonna translate each one of them. Lie number one, I'm not that type of girl. <laughs> Translation, I'm not that type of girl for you. If you were my dream man, you were my celebrity crush, you was Lil Baby, Drake, Future, Lil Dirk, Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, or whoever her dream man is, I would be that type of girl for those men, but for you, I'm not that type of girl. Lie number two. <laughs> I don't sleep around on the first night or I don't have sex on the first night. Translation, I'm not having sex with you on the first night. Like I said, if you was Drake, Lil Baby, or you was one of those men that were high value and have a lot of clout and status, I would sleep with them on the first night. But I'm not sleeping with you on the first night because the sexual attraction is not there for me to sleep with you on the first night. Lie number three. I have only been with three men. Dr. Cap. That's women's favorite number. Number three. Lie number four. <laughs> I haven't had sex in the last three months. I know we all done heard this one. Let me tell you something. The average modern woman can't go three days, three hours, damn near three weeks without sex. And the biggest one of all time. Stop it. Get some help. I'm single. Get the fuck out of here. No woman is single. No woman is not having sex. No woman is not getting attention from men. I told y'all in one of my previous videos. Every woman has five boyfriends. Work bay. This is the man that gives her compliments, gives her attention, buys her foods, gives her back rubs and shit at work. Number two, best friend. This man is just waiting on his moment. He gives her attention. He gives her emotional support. He gives her money. He's always there. He's sending Apple Pay's cash app. He's giving her with whatever she needs without her having to have sex with him. Number three, her actual boyfriend, the man that she's actually in a committed relationship with, the man that she calls at night, the man she has sex with, the man she goes on vacation with, all of those things. Number four, replacement boyfriend. This is the man that is going to be the boyfriend's replacement just in case the boyfriend actually fucks up. This is the man that has next in line. And number five, 
ex-boyfriend or baby daddy, the man that she first fell in love with. This man will always have access to this woman. The moment that he gets his shit together, they will be back together. I feel like a girl who has a high body count has no self-respect for herself, so just let anybody hit it. But streets. Yeah, yeah. damn, she's Y'all, is it just me? Or is anybody, ever, any other woman feel like I'm pretty, I'm smart, I'm educated, because educated and smart is different. I'm business minded, I'm a good mother. Like I have all these good qualities about myself. I'm healed, I go to therapy, I heal my inner child, and I'm still single. And the only people that's checking for me is people that I don't want. Why can I not have a better selection of people to choose from? I don't want the ones that want me. Like if I post I'm single, it's always the ones that I don't want that be like, I'll take you out. We could go out. You be playing. I'm not playing with you. I don't want you. The answer to her question is no, it's not just you. A lot of women feel this way. Notice how she said, guys, she's pretty, she's educated, she's smart, she's a good mother. All these different things that men typically don't care about. And I take it she is a single mother, which is another big red flag. That's an X out for high value quality men that she wants. And she keeps saying, I keep attracting these dusties, these loser guys, these guys basically that I don't even want to be with. The guys that she probably chose to mate with and, and have sex with in her younger years. Now she doesn't want those guys. Now she wants a guy who's at the top of his game, who's made all the right decisions, who's going places, who probably wants a woman who's younger than her, who's more submissive. She never named anything like, you know what? I'm feminine. I'm fit, I'm friendly, I'm easy to get along with, I'm cooperative. These are the type of things that high value men want. They don't care about your education. They don't care about you being business minded. They don't care about even your children and whatever you had going on prior to him. They care about, are you agreeable? Are you the type of woman who's gonna bring me peace? Are you gonna come around me and try to tell me what to do? Are you gonna try to boss me around? Because I'm the head of my household and I'm the head of my life. Are you gonna follow my lead? This is what guys want to hear. And all the type of guys that she attracts are going to be these uh, loser guys. These guys who have nothing going on for themselves and who need a place to live and, you know, who's always got their hand out. These type of men who haven't achieved anything in life, who have really low ambition. So there's a lot of women like her who name all these qualities that high value men have that they don't care about. We don't care about the money that you've acquired and the, the success and the degree and all these different things. Men care about are you fit? Are you feminine? Are you friendly? The female, if I can go talk to somebody or flirt with somebody and I see automatically that they're just all over me, it turns me off straight away. But if I go to you and I'm kind of like flirty with you, but you're like hesitant or you don't show me no attention, in my mind, I'm like, why? And it makes me more interested. Just putting this out there, I'm looking for one night stand. Uh, possibly two. I do have two lamps. So if you can help me out, that would be great. Okay, rate me out of 1 to 10. Rate me. Damn, you are too as well. We, we got something in common, right? We, we both are too. Yeah. I didn't ask you to rate me. Oh, I thought you said rate me and not back. No, but that's fine. You're funny. No, but really though. What about now? Who are you? You're not even competent to put profile and you have the nerve to come in my page and say negative. This is only positive vibe because you're unhappy and you come and make me unhappy. I'm a happy person and you cannot take that away from me. You got it. Huh? 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 You want to get this? Huh? Yeah, baby. Yes, I'm talking to you. A few moments later. Hi there. I don't know who wants to hear this, but yes, I am single and I'm looking somebody that who wants to take advantage of me because I'm used to it, people taking advantage of me. So if you're the one, please, uh, I'm here. So, you know, just take advantage of me, you know. Uh, you can come in, move in and live in with me. Don't pay any rent. Um, you know, you, you can bring some woman. I'm not, I don't care. 
you know, if you eat and you don't wanna wash the dishes, don't worry about it, I don't care, I will do it for you. You do it the next day, and if you don't wanna do it, don't worry about it, I get a maid to clean it. Don't worry about it, okay? I just want you to come in and take advantage on me, okay? Because I'm used to it, so I really don't care. Just come in, you know, I'm very wealthy, you know, I have boats, I have a house, I got lots of cars, and you know, I got money that I don't know what to do, okay? I'm wealthy, so just uh if you're a person like to take advantage i'm here bring it on okay um hook me up i'm here take advantage of me okay i just finished working out and i'm thinking about this okay just take advantage left and right just hook me up all right bye